Hey Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my top five favorite and best-selling fall Cricut projects. With fall just around the corner, right now is the perfect time to learn how to make and sell custom pumpkins with vinyl. My first year selling personalized pumpkins, I made over $500 in one month. These monogram pumpkins make fantastic wedding gifts or wedding shower gifts. They would look amazing as table centerpieces for a fall wedding. If you wanna sell them, they would be perfect to market to local businesses. I could totally picture one of these on a counter at a bank, pizza shop or a dance studio with the company's name or logo on it. These pumpkins are beautiful and versatile and make the most perfect fall home decor. Whether you're looking for a unique fall decor item or a potential side hustle, this is a fantastic project to dive into. So let's get started. In this video, I wanna try something a little different and customize a spooky Halloween pumpkin. The process for customizing this black pumpkin is pretty much the same as customizing the white or orange ones. The only difference is the color of the vinyl and design. The process for cutting and transferring the vinyl onto the pumpkin is exactly the same. First, let's talk about the supplies you'll need. To create these custom pumpkins, you'll need artificial pumpkins. I get mine from Michael's. They come in three different sizes, and I sold all three different sizes with my business. I sold the white and orange ones, but they come in a bunch of different colors. I always try to buy mine when they're on sale, which is right now. The small six and a half inch pumpkins are currently listed at $6.99. The medium nine inch pumpkins are on sale for $14.99, and the large pumpkins are on sale for $19.99. I've also seen these at Joann's, so you can try and look around and find the best price in your area. Next, you'll need permanent vinyl sheets or rolls. The color of vinyl you use will depend on the color of pumpkin you choose. This is totally personal preference. When I made orange pumpkins, I used black and white glossy Oracle 651 vinyl. I would place the large letter down first with white vinyl, then I would add the last name on top of that with black vinyl. For the white pumpkins, I used black and gold glossy Oracle 651 vinyl. I made the large letter gold and the names black. I love how they came out. For today's video, I'm gonna use this really cool orange holographic vinyl from TechWrap on top of a six and a half inch black pumpkin. Of course, you'll need a cutting machine like a Cricut or Silhouette. I'm using my Cricut Maker for this project. You'll also need a good transfer tape. I would recommend this brand. I get it on Amazon and it works fantastic. Then you'll need a vinyl cutter or scissors and weeding tools. If you have a hair dryer, you may need that too. I've had really good luck getting my vinyl to fit nicely in between the cracks of the pumpkin by heating it up with a hair dryer. The last thing you'll need is a computer and Cricut Design Space software. I'll leave links to all of the materials you need down below in my video description. Next, you'll want to design your vinyl decals. This is where you can let your creativity shine. You can create autumn themed designs, monograms, quotes, or any custom graphics you like. You can make your own designs in Cricut Design Space, get them from the Cricut Access Library, or download them from Creative Fabrica like I do. Creative Fabrica is my go-to place for all of my fonts and designs. They have everything I need on there, their site's easy to navigate, their designs come with a commercial license, which is what you need if you want to sell your Cricut projects, and it's cheaper per year than Cricut Access. You can sign up for a subscription to Creative Fabrica for just $4.99 a month right now, Build us $59 a year. This is a good deal because it's normally $29 a month, but right now it's only $4.99 a month. You can also try a free trial through the link down below in my video description. These are some of my favorite fonts to use on my personalized white and orange pumpkins, but for today's video, I'm going to be putting a face on my pumpkin. I found this Halloween pumpkin face bundle on Creative Fabrica and spotted a face that I think would look so good on this pumpkin. I can't wait to try it out. If you have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, all you need to do is click the big green download button and upload it into Design Space. Next, we need to measure our pumpkin and resize our design. I don't want my design to be any bigger than three inches tall, so I'm gonna use this double arrow to shrink the height down to three inches. Next, I'm gonna highlight the whole design and weld it together. This way, my machine will cut all the pieces right where they need to be. Now we can go over and click Make It. We don't need to mirror our image because we're not working with a heat transfer vinyl, so we can click Continue. Next, you need to select your material. I'm gonna be selecting Vinyl, and I'm also gonna change the pressure to More. At this point, I like to cut out my vinyl with my trimmer. If you don't have a trimmer, you can use scissors, but I like how on the mat I can see how big I need to cut my decal. So I'm gonna cut it about four inches wide by three and a half inches tall. Thank you. 
Now stick it to the upper left hand corner of your mat. When you work with TechRap vinyl, their vinyl has a thin protective film on top of it that you have to remove before you cut it. You don't need to do this with most types of vinyl, but definitely with TechRap holographic vinyl, you have to take this sheet off. Then slide the mat under the two tabs on your machine and press the blinking double arrows to load your mat. Next, press the blinking cricket button to start the cut. After your machine finishes cutting, it's time to weed your vinyl. Weeding involves removing the excess vinyl around your design, leaving only the parts you want to transfer to your pumpkin. Always go slow and take your time when weeding projects. Next, use transfer tape to transfer your vinyl design onto the pumpkin surface. Gently apply the transfer tape over the vinyl, smoothing it out with a squeegee or credit card. Then lift the vinyl up. Line it up with the center of your pumpkin and fold the vinyl like a taco. Gently press down in the center of the vinyl, working your way from the center out. Go slow and use your fingers or squeegee to press the vinyl deep down into the cracks. Sometimes it helps if you cut little slits into your transfer tape to help the vinyl go down flat. I'll just do a little bit in between the eye and the mouth. Now I can smooth down the mouth without it messing up the eye. Now, carefully peel off the transfer tape, leaving your vinyl design adhered to the pumpkin surface. Press down firmly to make sure the vinyl sticks. You can apply multiple vinyl designs to one pumpkin. Flip your pumpkin around and do a different face on the other side if you want. Have fun and get creative with it. When you're done, if you want to get the vinyl into the cracks really well, you can try heating it up with a hair dryer for a few seconds and then pressing it down with your fingers. To give your custom pumpkins that extra special touch, consider adding accents like ribbons, bows, or faux foliage to the stems. Michaels has some really cool rolls of Halloween and fall type ribbons. These finishing touches will really take your pumpkins to the next level. Now that you've created these stunning custom vinyl pumpkins, it's time to start thinking about selling them. You can set up a small booth at a local craft fair, list them on online marketplaces like Etsy, or promote them on your own social media channels. I got all of my sales from Facebook. I posted them in local town forums and tag sale groups in my area, and before I knew it, I had orders coming in left and right. How you choose to price them is totally up to you. This is how I priced mine on Facebook. I sold the six and a half inch ones for $12 with one name on them. Medium nine inch monogram pumpkins were sold for $25 and I sold the large ones for $30. Shipping was not included in these prices because all of these orders were local pickup only. Shipping would probably add another eight to $10 to your total. I was able to keep my prices low and avoid competition by focusing on my local community. Make sure to price them competitively, taking into account the time and materials you've invested. Check on Etsy or other marketplaces and see what your competitors are selling them for. Marketing is key. Take high quality photos of your pumpkins. Make sure the lighting's good. Make sure that the pictures aren't grainy. Sometimes I paid a friend who was a really good photographer to take photos of my projects to use for marketing. Use seasonal hashtags and engage with potential customers on social media to generate interest. And there you have it, folks, a fun and creative way to make and sell custom pumpkins with vinyl this fall. Whether it's for your own home decor or as a small business venture, it's a great way to celebrate the autumn season while expressing your creativity. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and creative projects. As always, if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with this project, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy crafting this fall.